Hey, welcome to Electron Line, and now let's see if we can use our newfound knowledge to calculate the pH, or not to use the pH of the oceans to calculate the change in the concentration of the hydrogen ions in the oceans, let's say, since 1989. Because it's been, since 1989 that we've been taking some very good measurements of the acidity of the oceans, or actually, I shouldn't say acidity because the oceans are very basic. When you have a pH of 8.1 or 8.07, the oceans are bas a basic solution, but they're becoming less basic and more acidic. It tends towards the acidic, and so we want to know what the percent change in the hydrogen concentration was between 1989 and 2014, about a 25-year span. So let's find the, the concentration of the hydrogen ions for these two values of the pH. So we can say that the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to, um, let's see, it's equal to 10 raised to the um, minus pH. All right, and so in this case, for the value of 8.10, the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 10 to the minus 8.10. And so now we need a calculator for that. So let's see what that is equal to. So 8.10, okay, 10 raised to the 8.1 negative equals, so the concentration of the hydrogen ion, and that was back in 1989, was about uh, 7.94 times 10 to the minus 9. All right, so now let's calculate the concentration again for a pH of 8.07. So now we do it again for a value of 8.07, and so the hydrogen concentration is now going to be 10 to the minus 8.07. The reason I write you know, approximately, because there's a lot of variation from year to year and from month to month and day to day when you try to measure the pH of the ocean, because there's a lot of variation because of rainwater, influx of rainwater, uh, the oceans being uh, jumbled around and so forth. But over time, we have seen the average change. So let's see here, 8.07 minus, raise that to the, oh, let's start again, 10 raised to the 8.07 minus equals. And so for this one, we get the concentration of the hydrogen ion is equal to 8.51 times 10 to the minus 9. So how much has it changed? You can see that the concentration now is higher than it used to be. So let's do a ratio. Let's do the ratio of the concentration of the hydrogen ion in 2014, 2014 divided by the concentration of the hydrogen ion in uh, 1989. So that is equal to, uh, so the current one would be 8.51 times 10 to the minus 9 divided by 7.94 times 10 to the minus 9. And let's see what we get. So we get 8.51, 8.51 divided by 7.94, and we get 107, so 107, or 1.072, 1 uh, uh, which is 107.2%. Uh, so the increase, so the percent change, so the percent change is equal to 107.2%, uh, what it is today minus the 100%, what it was 25 years ago, or 7.2%. So there's been about a 7.2% change in the concentration of the hydrogen ion in the oceans over the last 25 years or so. So what would the pH concentration be if there was another 7.2% change over the current concentration? All right, so let's see here. So we have another 7.2% change that would be the new uh, concentration of the hydrogen. So that would be, let's say, 114.4% uh, of the amount that we had back in 1989, right? So of the concentration we had in 1989, which was uh, right here, 7.9, so 7.94 times 10 to the minus 9. That, of course, would be moles per liter. So that was a concentration in 1989. So let's say that we add another 7.2% 7 .7 over what we had before. Uh, so what would we get now? So 7.94 e to the 9 minus 
times 1.144 equals. So that would give us a new concentration equal to 9.08 times 10 to the minus 8 moles per liter. And then let's calculate the new pH for that, because we can say that the new pH, which is equal to the negative of the log of the concentration, like that, and since the concentration is that, so it would be negative, that would be equal to the negative of the log, of the new concentration, which is 9.08 times 10 to the minus 8. So let's find the log of that. And we get 8.04. So we started 8.1, went down to 8.7, about 25 years. And if the same rate continues, we have another 7.2% increase in the concentration of hydrogen the pH of the ocean would now be down to 8.04. That's how we do that.